Well, hello there, everybody. How's it going? It's uh, been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been uh, been quite some time, like a month or so since the last video on the channel. <sighs> yeah, I got I got no good excuses. So I'm not gonna make any. Let's just say life is a bitch. But uh, we are going to start a new uh, Game of Thrones series because the last one kind of ended prematurely because of issues with the patch. And um, I mean, they still haven't released a newer version. Um, I believe that CK2, vanilla CK2 is in 2.3.4 and uh, the latest patch for the CK2 mod or the, the Game of Thrones mod, I guess, um, is only compatible up to 2.3.2. So maybe that extra like two versions makes a difference. That could be why things got messed up last time. I don't know. It'll probably be why things get messed up again. God, this game is running so poorly right now. My computer is just a piece of crap. I need some serious upgrades. Uh, anyways, uh, let's uh, let's just get started. I want to do the pirate thing again, and I want to actually you know do well with the pirate thing. I was having fun out here, but. I don't really want to start out in the Stepstones again, just because we've already done it twice. And I was thinking about doing the uh, War of the Nine Penny Kings here, the whole Mataris, or sorry, uh, Malus, the monstrous start. And uh, I checked that out off camera. It's um, it's not easy because <laughs> you're basically you're going up against the entire Iron Throne, and the war itself is kind of simple. I played it. I think I played it for like five years or so. And uh, if you let them come down here and attack you, it's fine. You can take them out, no problem. But you have to take King's Landing or else the Ticking War score is in, against you. And taking King's Landing is not easy. Because sure, you can maybe wreck whatever armies land here. But in my game, anyways, the Vale and the Westerlands and, and the Riverlands, all three of these just kind of chilled and did nothing. While the, the Iron Throne and the Stormlands are the ones that um, did naval landing, so I was able to take them out, but these three guys left their massive armies of like 20, 30k troops just hanging out on the mainland, so as soon as I landed, they kind of jumped on me. And I don't really know how you're supposed to do this start. <laughs> you can't wait them out, you have, to, you have to be on the offense, and you're going up against like three times your numbers. So yeah, it's uh, it's it's tough. You might need some seriously good luck for that. But I'm gonna try actually a different start, something a part of the world that we've never really seen before. Uh, well, I guess we have yeah, in the uh, the Aegon Aegon start where I conquered the world because you know that's easy because you got dragons and everything. But no, we're gonna start out here in this little tiny little island, the Island of Monkeys. We're gonna be Corsair Makan of the Isle of Monkeys. And uh, they are pirates, the Basilisk Islanders, the Corsairs are our pirates, so we can use the whole pirate thing. So uh, yeah, let's let's get going. This way we'll avoid Westeros for quite some time, we'll probably um, try to invade into Essos somewhere. I mean, this is not going to be easy either, because these guys have massive armies as well, but well, we'll see what happens. Hopefully the music starts playing, there we go. Okay, so uh, we have... Unfortunately, we don't have a flag, which kind of sucks, but oh well. We are uh, kind of a, we're kind of okay character, that'll do. Let's uh, set an ambition. We would like to get married. That's always a good ambition to pick from the start. And we will go with this lady, I guess. Um, I'm going to employ... A debutante and see if she's any better. No, she is worse, actually. Okay, so I guess Makia, you'll be my wifey. Okay. And uh, focus, focus, focus. What kind of focus do we want? Hmm. I don't really know what would be good right now, because we, we have to wait a little while um, before we can even start attacking these guys. We we gotta wait. Yeah, we gotta attack with these dudes. And in fact, I am uh, probably also going to revoke this guy's title, just so I can have his troops to myself.
Oh, I can't. Oh, I need 50 prestige. Well, poop. I just wasted all my prestige. Oh well, I will revoke his title at some other point, I guess. Um, okay, so focus, focus, very important. I mean, more Marshall would be nice. Oh, none of these, like, will really give me anything I want. Rulership is good, because you can get some decent traits out of it. Yeah, let's go with rulership for now. <clears throat> I know you can get, like, a diligent, I believe, out of it. And higher stewardship stats and all that, which is always nice. Okay, we have no air. We are, yeah, title lost. It's fine. Let's up those levies because why not? We got nobody to say no at this point. And uh, I guess these are probably the best guys. So we'll have you levy size plus 1.2%. God, that's terrible. But it's better than nothing. And do we have, um, no, we don't have claims or anything. I'm pretty sure this is three islands. Yeah, it's three islands over here, so... Let's see which one would be a weaker target. I guess you would be a weaker target. I don't know, they got about the same amount of troops. Maybe I'll have to give it a second for things to truly register. Because it should say something about the owner of martial skill, and it doesn't. Like, this guy should have less troops than this guy, who has higher martial. Okay, you go. Oh god, you're terrible. You go train, I guess. An extra 22%. Go make money. Um, I don't really have anything for you to do, so just scheme. And zero? Really? An incompetent scholar? Yeah, you could say that. Priest is trampled by the mob. 42%. Um, okay, we'll go with this guy. He was a little bit better. Only 32% instead of 42. Okay, well, whatever. I don't really care about him. Uh, okay. Get an extra 100 troops out of it. That's nice. Don't want to do anything here, really. I'll delegate the honor, the grantee of honorary titles. And we will have to create underscore K underscore basilisk underscore isles at some point. That's the kingdom of the basilisk isles. Okay, well, I guess that's that. Let's get going. Yay. There's the ambition to get married. Cool. Who are you? Why are you in my court? Oh, you're dead. Why did you show up in my court just to die, guy? <laughs> what the hell? Anyways, uh, another ambition. Ambition to have a son. Yes. I'm gonna get that out of the way. Oh, what was that? There was another thing up here. Host a wedding feast. 50 prestige. I don't have 50 prestige. I got jack shit for prestige. But we can probably start raiding. Yeah, it's really cheap to uh, keep our... our navies raised. I guess we don't need all these boats. But we will take all the boats. We'll go here. <clears throat> it's the pirate's life for me. Yar har har. So we can't actually... Yeah, so he's gonna have a max of 723. This guy's got a max of 775. Why is that higher than mine? I've got a higher martial score. Hmm. Well, that's kind of crappy. Oh well. Started with the rating. Now, the trick out here is going to be, um, once we get those I guess we don't need the claims now, because we have the pirate CB, don't we? Yeah, we have the pirate invasion. So now, basically, what we're going to do is, it's kind of cheap, and it's kind of silly, but it'll do the job. But we need, uh, we need some positive prestige. So we're going to be taking all this money. But, uh, basically, the plan is, I'm going to revoke this guy's title and have all his troops under my command as well. And that way, then I'm gonna be able to go pillage all these places, I'm gonna raid them, and hopefully have enough troops to actually take out the fort while raiding. Okay, so we had a random crash there, hopefully it doesn't happen again, but I don't, I don't know. I think it probably will. Uh, so, I don't know, we're gonna keep playing, and if the crashes keep happening, that's, that's 
fine as long as the game itself, I, like if I can just reboot it back, load it up again and start playing and keep going, that's, that's fine, I'll deal with the crashes, but if it's something like, you know, in the previous game where the world got messed up, we're not, we're not gonna deal with that. Uh, but anyways, I forgot to do something. I want to set some special interests, because right now, Robert's trying to take the Iron Throne. Good old Rob. I guess not Rob, it's Robert. And so we'll set you as interest. We will... I don't care about Hoster Tully. We'll set Nut Stark, though. And Tywin. And that that's good for now. Alright, please don't crash game. I would like to play you. I like playing you. Alright, so we got another four ducats out of this. We'll take that. I don't know if uh, what I was saying before, if it got through or if it got cut off or what. But basically the plan is to um, get enough troops by revoking the city. Get enough troops to actually, when I raid, to actually siege the thing down. That way, once you siege it down completely, you will take out the garrison as well, <clears throat> or the uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the uh, the levy, not the garrison. It'll actually kill the the levy, and uh, yeah, once we kill the levy, we will be able to just declare war and you know have our way. <clears throat> I really wish my voice would stop doing this thing that it does sometimes. Well, we do have it to autosave every month, so I know that's going to be a little annoying, but... Rayla Targaryen. Ah, his wife. She probably said Rhaegar as a uh, special interest, too. And we will do all this, a little bit of raiding here and there, just to... I don't really care about the money. I mean, the money's nice, but it's more the prestige. I want to get that prestige back up, because having to marry some random courtier is not... It's not good. Oh, I hope you guys can't hear my stomach growling. Man, I'm hungry. And I need a haircut. I feel like this this chubby little face of his needs a beard. There we go. That looks a lot better. There we go. Just grew some hair. I wish you could change the tattoos on your face. That'd be neat. How are we doing on this thing here? Another point it. Give me all your money. All right, good enough. And we will go home just so we can lower and re-raise. And you know, get 12 prestige out of it. Something. Okay. So yeah, if I revoke his title I need, what, 50, uh, yeah, 50 prestige. We need to, here, let's hold a summer fair. That'll, that'll get us prestige. And we will also do a, the guard. Because the guard will give us more troops. And drill the soldiers. There we go, 493 out of 820. That's a little bit better. Now, that's going to take a while to, uh, to fill up. Unfortunately, but oh well. We now have basically double the troops that we started with, and in fact we. Oh, cool, that's nice. Prosperous until whoa. That's awesome. So Isle of Monkeys becomes prosperous until the end of time. Extra modifier and uh, levy size. I've never seen that before. Oh, we got a bear dancing around doing this thing. I wonder how he does that. Who's this? Do I care about this guy? I ah, keep him on a short leash. Get that uh, get that intrigue in there. Not that it really matters. For like half a year. Oops, somebody wants to be imprisoned. What'd you do, guy? My quartermaster. What are you doing? You trying to kill me? That is um that's not a thing that you should be doing, sir. I don't I don't like that. I don't appreciate it at all. My priest is cornered. Oh, well, there he goes. That's what he gets for sucking. Hey, nice. 20 prestige. 
Where's that? Going to hiding? I don't want to go into hiding. I want to tell this guy to bugger off. Do I have a better quartermaster by any chance? No, not really. <clears throat> okay, dude, so can you stop that? Thank you. Do these guys not have titles? I feel like that... That honorary title thing doesn't really do anything. I guess it only auto-assigns when there's people that are negative. But I feel like keeping even people that are in the positive, keeping them more positive is a good idea. Uh, now, I don't want to raise all these troops because they're going <clears> to... <throat> they're just going to um, refill or re recharge. What's the word that I'm looking for? To reinforce. They're going to reinforce way slower if I do it this way. Okay, we'll just have you... I don't know. Here, go go mess with the Iron Throne. Got nothing else for you to do. I don't need claims on those. Hmm... I feel like my phone should have gone off by now. Oh, it's about time anyways. Yeah. This guy's got some money. We'll wait a bit. We'll just wait a just a little bit. Wish there was a better way of uh, actually telling <clears throat> when your troops are going to recharge because there's no nowhere can you find a, a date. Well, for, for when it could finish, so you just kind of, just kind of gotta hope that you get it on time. That you're paying attention and you're not wasting time. All right, wait until the end of the year and then we'll head out raiding again. Come on, give me those troops. Hey, nice, good job, wifey. I'm glad to know that my willy still works. Damn well better, I'm like 18 years old. This guy should hopefully be around for quite some time. Looks like we're going to have two Demesne, which is nice. Once we grab this, we'll be able to form the Duchy. Once we form the Duchy, we should be able to actually take all three. Oh, I guess it's the end of the year already. We got an extra 20 troops out of it. Um, hmm. I guess we might as well go raiding, but we're going to do that in the next episode. Because, as you know, it's that time. So I do hope you guys enjoyed. It's the start of a new series. Hopefully a long-lasting series. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. Anyways, uh, if you did enjoy, you know what to do with them likes and them comments down below. And I'll catch you next time. Take care.